Entry number one. This one might be a while. I'm trying to catch up with time here. Not sure why I'm doing this. Maybe this will help serve some purpose for someone else after I die. Who knows? Might be because I'm bored or just want to keep track of what's going on. I mean, I'm turning 50 soon. My brain ain't working like it used to. <laughs> I chose to record instead because I'm just too fucking lazy to write. Since I was not a college graduate, my skills for writing are not the best. This feels quicker and more efficient. I guess I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm Sam Bauer, 49 years young. I'm from Noonan in Georgia. My brother is Gwen Bauer, an upcoming famous country singer. Before all this shit, I was in construction. Spent my days off getting pissed drunk coked up and of course gambling my life away. It didn't help much that my crowd of friends were less than desirable people in general. The kind of guys that don't grow up. We partied hard as much as we could. Funny thing is, I almost died before all this started. I owed a big chunk of money to some loan shark and we're talking lots of cash here. My life was finally on the line when he showed up with his goons and did a number on my face. When I had so little time to pay him back, I had to turn to my little brother Quinn. He always hated the path I was going on while he was always a stand-up guy. Living a perfect life, living his dream, beautiful wife and daughter. I always felt like I was supposed to take care of him since our parents passed away, but I could never live up to that. No. Instead, he's the one bailing me out of trouble. Pfft, what a fucking screw up I am. Quinn saved my life when he gave me the money to pay off that loan chart. I wanted to change my life around. For me, sure, but also for my little brother. Enough was enough, it was time. So Quinn offered me a new job, touring with him as security. I thought this would be what I needed to change. Spend more time with my brother while getting my act together. We were ready to go on tour starting in Nashville. Quinn went on ahead of me a couple days prior as I needed to tie up some loose ends back in Georgia first. It only ended up with me getting drunk and fucked up once more. I just wanted to feel that one last time, but it made me sleep in to a point where I missed my chance to drive up to Nashville. I wasn't there on time to start the tour with him. Needless to say, I'm sure he was disappointed, but then it all started. The dead rose. Life was chaos. I was faced with an option. Follow my friends into a darker path as they want to seize this opportunity to control everything and wanted me along for that ride. These are the kind of guys that wanted to harm and take from all that are less stronger. Or I could take care of Quinn's wife Natasha and his daughter Alexia while we try and find him. I chose the latter. So I went out and found Natasha and Alexia. They were scared out of their minds and... Uh, hold on. <coughs> Alright. Yeah, I think there's more of these things coming in, so... I guess I'll continue this next time. Entry number two. Now, where was I? That's right. Um, I had found Natasha and Alexia. And sure enough, they were scared and disoriented. When they saw me, they were reassured I could tell by the look in their eyes. Obviously, the first question Natasha asked was, where was Gwen? I immediately felt like shit, since I was supposed to be with him on that tour. I explained everything to her and that he's still in Nashville as far as I was concerned. Of course, her initial thought was to head there, but shit was insane enough as it was in Georgia. I could only imagine a place like Nashville. But I obviously wanted the same, because you see, a few days before I actually contemplated suicide back when it all started, I didn't feel like there was a point to me in this life anymore. Another selfish act on my part, but it felt easier to just do it. I failed my brother so many times, and this to me was the last time. With everything going on, I, I just didn't want to bother going on. But that changed when I thought about Quinn needing me out there. Needing his big brother to do what's right for the first goddamn time in his fucking life. My brother 
He's not the strongest physically sure, but he's a smart man, so he has to still be alive out there. Regardless, I owed it to him, so I headed off to find his wife and daughter. I owed it to him and myself to take care of these two and to reunite them with Quinn. That would surely make me feel a lot better about myself, right? I don't know. So I was excited to find those two alive and well, as scared as they were. I knew I had one thing to do from this point on. Find Quinn no matter what, and keep all of them safe. So, here we are today. Not sure exactly on a date, but I think it's been around three months since it all started. We've been traveling on the main highway going towards Nashville, thinking Quinn might be doing the same coming this way. We've met a small group of survivors on the way. We've been traveling on foot to avoid attention from those hordes, roamers, and the attention of any fucked up group of people out there, really. But these people that we met were not like the others. They seemed scared and lost, if I'm honest. Prior to them, we had run-ins with some bad people. But we luckily managed to get out of it alive. Mainly just desperate people needing what we have and... Because we were not equipped to fight like they were, we always had to comply to them. Needless to say, it was difficult to make it to Nashville, just us three, so I was relieved to meet these people. They didn't seem to want to cause us any harm, so there was nine of them, as they were heading towards Georgia, blindly not knowing where to go. Jacob and his teenage son, Kevin. Jolene. Marianne. Jeffrey. Eric. Franklin and his boyfriend Joshua, and finally the late Jonathan, 22 years old. I had to kill him. He was infected and dying, suffering really, and none of them could do it. So I stepped up. I didn't want to though. I'm a fun guy that don't take no shit from anyone in life but this. This is not something I ever wanted to do. Seeing it all unfold, uh, really made me realize how hard this world's going to be. There are good people, but for some reason, though, they seem to look up to me now. I'm not sure why. It's not like I'm taking lead here. Just a guy trying to keep two people safe and find his brother. But all of a sudden, I'm trying to keep ten people safe. It's been a slow process so far. Didn't find Quinn yet, but we're halfway there. I'm kind of scared to see the numbers of roamers there, though. I'm also worried that Quinn may not have been heading the same direction to meet us. Something might have went wrong. Maybe he was forced in a different direction. I'm using a CB radio and a walkie-talkie regularly in hopes that he might have one or someone with him does. So far, nothing, though. Might try again when I get back to camp. I just stepped out because I needed some air. Need to think a bit. These people are really relying on me, so I got a lot more on my plate than just looking for Quinn. Tomorrow we pack up and start heading out for the first time in a week. We scavenged everything we could around here and... the hell? What? Hey! Over here! Oh my god. The camp seems overrun by Romans. I, I gotta... I, I gotta...